Hi guys, welcome to Amp Shop Base Exchange. My name is Donovan from New Plague Radio, and I'm here with Gary and one of these beautiful vintage Fender Music Master basses. A lot of people bring these into the shop, and when they're getting them set up, we have a lot of requests about the same thing. A lot of you probably know about it. It's that the bridge makes it very difficult to keep this in tune. Of a lot of people who approached us and asked, do you know anyone who makes replacements for this bridge? And so we reached out to Allbridge and we had a replacement bridge made specifically for this base to solve this problem. First of all, what kind of problem is the bridge? So the problem is that as you can see, two strings are sharing one saddle, which means that you kind of have to give a little bit of tuning on one string to get the other one in tune. So you can't really get all four in tune at once. What you need to do is split the saddle so that every string gets their own which is exactly what we did. Nobody makes those bridges and nobody care. No. That's a major problem. Exactly. So yes. people came asking, do you know anybody who does? And we didn't. So we reached out and we're having them made. And this now is the replacement. So as you can see, every string now gets its own saddle and we have replaced the material that we're using is this pure orthodox bell bronze that as you can hear rings with a clarity and sustain that you just can't get out of your regular saddles. We've also built the bridge out of airspace grade duralumin which will help it weigh significantly less than the traditional bridge that the Music Master was using. Plus, it's very strong, retain all of that Dura quality, but it's super light. Another issue we're approached about is the pickup. As some of you know, the original Fender Music Master uses a six-pole guitar pickup and just covers the top so you can't tell and uses it as a bass pickup. The issue with doing that is you're going to get the same 60 cycle hum that you'd be getting using it as a single coil guitar pickup. So if you just plug it in and do nothing at all, you'll get that charming 60 cycle hum buzz we all love. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> we plug it into the bass amp. So you need to find the sweet spot where hum is less. Mm -hmm. So basically you need to sort of kind of stay on the stage and find this Do spot this little dance. To do a little dance, <laughs> basically. Yeah. And that's the nature of electricity, of 60 sure. cycle hum, nothing you can do. So when you're playing on a stage and let's say you're running through 10,000 watt of system mm -hmm. and you get in that hum, you need to use some kind of noise gate or another device because like that, it's unacceptable, it's right. noisy. So that's a major issue with this pickup. Absolutely. Basically. So the third issue that customers will talk to us about is that even though it's a short scale base, they still come in at between eight to nine pounds, which can get a little heavy after a while. And especially because a lot of this instrument's weight is in the headstock, It'll kind of start to dive on you a little bit. And just the extra tension of having to support this headstock with your fretting hand, you know, after a while, after a lot of gigs, can start to put some extra stress on all these muscles. Another issue that customers come to us with is that because of the placement of the truss rod nut, if you want to make any adjustments to your bridge, you have to completely take the neck off, make the adjustments, put the neck back on, reset the instrument up, only to find out that you need to take it back off and make the adjustment again, because you tightened it a little bit too much. A few years ago, a bass like this would have gone for six to $700. But recently, instruments like this have been going for around 2,000. So a lot of people who would want to get to play something like this just don't have the opportunity to. So what we wanted to do was take all of the qualities about this base that customers had been asking to have upgraded and then put it in a package that is more affordable than an instrument like this has become. And so we put all of that into one and made our own base. And here it is. This is the Amp Master base made by Woodcraft Guitars. 
and it is our version of the classic Fender Music Master Bass. So, some of the features that we upgraded. This is the new bridge with an individual saddle for each one of the strings. This pickup has two poles per each string, and we have split the coil in half to be completely hum canceling. And we now have this easy adjuster for the truss rod, so you can use a screwdriver or a nail or anything you have nearby and just adjust it without having to completely detach the neck. Let's hear how quiet it is right now. And no tap dance anymore. None. <laughs> quiet. Oh, look at that. Close to the amp. Yeah. Still quiet. Out. Still quiet. The other yeah. one was screaming. Yeah, that one was almost <laughs> like a, okay? So the problem solved mm -hmm. with the bass pickup. And with a reduced weight of about six pounds and significantly less weight in the headstock, you're gonna have a lot less strain on your fretting hand and you're gonna have a lot less of the neck dive bombing, keeping it on your lap. We're using the same Duralumin material for the covers. For the tuners, custom-made covers. We're using them for strap lock buttons. We're using them for control plate with the dual aluminum. Plus, inside, we are doing a complete graphite isolation okay. to protect from the RV frequency. So this one also like a almost bulletproof. And what we're doing, we also put here string retention or string trees, mm -hmm. and we did it for three strings. Right now, your A string always in tension. Right, because the original only has it for two of the for strings, two, correct? Like all fenders, yes. Mm -hmm. And we using the GraphTech Task Nut. Not plastic, right. not Korean, Task. So right now, combination of all this stuff, making bass ring and making bass sound good. Another secret is very, very important. The material we're using, it's a European wood, okay. which by nature has a lot of low frequency in the wood, at the same time, super light. So that's why when you play in this bass, it sounds even lower than the precision bass, uh -huh. but at the same time, it's super light, which is usually people have the conception that as heavier bass, mm -hmm. as more bottom. Sure. Here is totally opposite. Light body with a lot of bottom. Yeah, you get the best of both. You get the best of all, yeah. And of course, it's a high quality neck mm -hmm. made from like a hard rock European maple. Okay. Which is very, very strong and durable. So that's why even not plugged in, it's still ringing. Yeah. Oh yeah, the sustain is crazy. Sustain is crazy. Yeah. Just unplug. Okay, so that's, we come with this idea. Ah, and on the back one, we're using the same Duralumin neck plate, mm -hmm. but we're using six screws, which meaning resonance quality and tightness of the neck and the body, almost like a, like a base next through the body. Yes. Almost like that solid. So guys, either one, if you have the original vintage base and you want to get bridge replacement or pickup replacement or just the complete set that will be available soon pickup and the bridge which goes in the same spot with the same screws pickup goes right in there no alteration no drilling no modification needed mm -hmm. or you can get the new instrument like that keep your original music master in the original condition if you like them and you can use this one in today's show, today's world, without any hesitation, without any problem, without any, all of those inconvenient type of yeah. stuff. Use your, keep it original, put mm -hmm. it in safe deposit box. <laughs> if you decide to resell it, you have value, you didn't take it away, and you have to base to enjoy and play and be able to play a musician. 
I'm playing this bass, why? Because I was really excited, because I have problem with my left wrist, and I cannot play regular long scale bass, because I cannot just grab sure. it. So that's why this neck is so perfect and convenient, and when mm -hmm. a lot of customers ask us and tell us, guys, I have shoulder problem, I have the stroke, I had the heart attack, right. and doctor told me, take it easy, don't do that anything. And right now I'm in the condition, I'm trying to find something which I still continue to play, sure. but I will slow down and take it easy. That's, I think that's the base for the, for the players who still want to enjoy the music, yeah. be in there, do whatever they want to do, like to create and do that, but take it easy and continue to do up to your ability right now. Yeah. I'm not talking about the new generation, like <laughs> new kids or girls. We have a lot of female mm. bass players who like a short stuff or have like a small wrist or whatever they want to play. And for them, big bass, first of all, looks not proportional and correct. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look sexy on them, first of all. <laughs> Second of all, too heavy. Uh -huh. And I think this bass will solve problem with the female based audience as well. Sure. I don't know anybody who would want it. It's, it's beautiful. It's all the best things about that. And then with this couple small adjustments that somebody would want in an so ideal world. So there we go, guys. It's an Amp Master by Woodcraft. And you can always call us, email us, whatever you need. It's an Amp Shop Basic Change, North Hollywood, California. And we are welcome everybody here. Whatever you have problems, whatever you have issue, we are here to help you to solve your problems. Thank you for watching.